what has been going on with Exit Eden after Rhapsodies in Black? Like when you when did you start working on upcoming Femmes Fatales? Yes, well, we actually already had ideas right after releasing the the first record and having the few festivals we played. I remember it was 2019 um, that Marina and I actually were like thinking about even about original songs if we would have a second Exit Eden record. And then, you know, time was so it was it was so weird with with COVID. So we started the idea, but then we had this um sorry, my my mind. I'm <laughs> for we had a like label change. So this was like the first little, you know, bump we had to face. And then we got together with Napalm again. And then it was um COVID, the next bump kind of taking us off track where we didn't know how things were gonna continue. And then After that got settled a little bit, we finished or we continued with the original ideas we had and with the covers and our producer we work with a lot. He um, did such a great job in having having the ideas and we got together. So that's kind of the short form, how everything went. What's kind of the time span? When did you start uh, like really writing and recording? So we re- we started with like the first creative phase in 2020 and then this kind of got cut because of covid and we were like kind of waiting and didn't know when or if or what and then we got a new you know like a second uh push or something um in yeah the mid or end 2020 and then it actually went c- quite quick But then again, it was like we we weren't sure when to release, so we had to kind of wait, and we had to talk about timings, and had to think about how we how we want to approach this after such a long time. And yeah, now what do we have? 2023, right? <laughs> yes. So 2024, the record will be out, and yeah, times times just fl- flown by since then. You mentioned the original ideas so what kind of uh, ideas were behind this second album many 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 ideas since since the first album was only um cover songs it was actually a little bit hard to get into the feeling of how we want to be in this record with also having original songs but since it's been just so much time we all did grow up a bit and get more mature. So we wanted this to reflect in the album too and to have like a, a big piece of art fitting together and um having with the original songs, like to me, it's always really, really important to have empowering um, messages and to have like um strength and to have a positive vibe next to the darker symphonic metal vibe we have in the music so that this is kind of the things that are really important to me as a songwriter and as a member of exit eden and also fitting the original songs with the covers was really important to us that it's kind of the yeah the same vibe that it's not this is totally different and this is like put together but it just feels like one one big piece when you listen to the whole album You mentioned the pandemic and that changed a lot of things. How did the recordings go? Uh, so first, Marina actually started uh, recording the vocals in the studio. And I had the chance to be there with her, which was really, really great. Um, so we could kind of work on, arra- or I could be there when they worked on arrangements with our producer. Um, and then I recorded most of my uh Uh, vocals and then Clemmy came to the studio to record her vocals and I was there too which was great so it was kind of we weren't it wasn't the three of us in the studio at the same time but at least two at the same time. Exit Eden is a trio now so what are your thoughts on uh, Amanda Somerville's parting? Yeah I'm really sad about that obviously that's one of the changes I wouldn't have needed if if it were my decision but of course it's not my decision and of course um i absolutely we absolutely understand her decision in this because being a mom having this responsibility and also 
she wanted to, if she does a project, she gives it all. And if she wants to be, um, she doesn't just like, oh, let's see how this is going and maybe I'll be available or maybe not. And I, I admire that a lot uh, for her having the, making this hard decision and saying, okay, um, I won't be part of this anymore and um, not starting something and then noticing, oh, this is getting too much or I can't be available on tour or I can't, you know, so I absolutely understand um, her, her her decision. And we, at least it's the three of us and we're going to give it our all and make her proud in continuing this project. And I have, I have a really good feeling about that too now. Going back to the music, uh... The original songs, of course, sound very interesting. Maybe you could give a little background story, maybe for one or two songs, you know, without spoiling too much. Yes, okay. So the funny thing is actually that um, I, I thought about this in another interview when I got the question. Um, Femme Fatale was actually the first song we finished writing. That was the first original song. Um, and... Of course, it wasn't clear that the album was going to be called that in the very beginning, but I like the um, the coincidence of having the first original song being the album name and the album, um, uh, the first song on the album, the opener, you know, and that was kind of the vibe with this seducive, um, charming uh, woman, um, matching the the music you know of the symphonic bombastic style also intimate but also like really really big and that's like kind of um yeah a, a big theme obviously of, of the record and it's really really sweet uh th that this was the first song and we got b buried in the past and dying in my dreams which are also they also are really dealing with symphonic metal topics with like feeling lost, feeling lonely, needing um, needing some someone to kind of pick them up to really like break it down into a few a few words. And um, yeah, hold hold back your fear, for example, is actually actually has a um, historic background. It's actually about the maid of Orléans. Uh, which was, I think, in the 14th century um, in France, where um, there was a woman who said she was chosen by God to be part of the army to help the troops uh, conquer or, or to, to, um, to uh, what's the word, to fight for, for the freedom of their city. And um, this was very... Um, you know, inspiring because having women taking a role in, in the army back then was really something that felt felt um, like a great topic to write about being a metal band with uh, three front women singing and having this put into like nice words and not too obvious. But this is one of the yeah, one of the special songs. How about the collaboration with Marco Hietala on the new song Run? This was amazing. We didn't actually plan this from the beginning. So when we wrote the song and even when we recorded the song, we actually uh, recorded it with all of us. So the song was more or less recorded. And um, then we had this like these this rush get away, this C part where it's a little bit, a little bit more, uh, yeah, sc screamo a little bit. And when I was in the studio, um, our producer said, Hey, why don't you sing it a little bit more the way Marco Hietala would have sing would have sing it? And um, then I was like, yeah, trying this, and we were like looking at each other. Was like, oh my gosh, wouldn't this be a super cool idea to have ask him as a feature? Marina was in the studio too, and we were like dreaming of this, and was like, oh, this will be so, but it's probably not gonna happen, you know. But then our producer and the label um, made it made it work. Showed him the song, talked to him, and it's it's yeah, it's really so special for us that he is on this song with us. And the video with him was so much fun. He's such a wonderful, laid back, super nice person, and oh, he did such a good job in acting. We were like all super super excited about that. 
Going uh, back in time a bit, I'm curious, uh, how did Exit Eden originally come to be? Like, what's the story behind that? Yeah, so to be honest, um, this was actually an idea of a uh, um, production company. Uh, I worked for them as uh, in, in, in the studio, actually, and Amanda was asked first to be part of this project. And... Um, I actually just sang the the demo vocals to have like a rocky attitude or like a you know this, this is the way it could be and then she she was asked to participate and when they were looking for more singers to participate she said hey why don't we ask the girl who sang the demos she sounds great so this was kind of how she got me into the project um, which wasn't planned from the beginning. And she also got a Marina to join because they had worked together um, before that. And then Clemmy was also asked from one of the business partners to be part of this quartet. And that's how we all um, even got to know each other. I, I didn't know any of them from the beginning. And um, it was so great to see how good we get along, how much we like each other. And now even after having this much time, sometimes we like WhatsApp every day or we were like on the phone or getting together with three of us with like Skype or Zoom. And it's it's so special to do this project with friends now because in the first record, we were kind of strangers getting together and now we are friends doing this together. And this, yeah, this is really, really cool. Maybe from the past to the future, then of course, uh, I said, Femmes Fatales comes out in January and next year must be, you know, full of stuff. But uh, how do you see the future of Exit Eden? Will there be a third album in the next three years? We are actually, we actually talked about a third album already. We were actually having ideas and then it's like sometimes, no, wait, we just need to relax. We need to see. We're still, we haven't released the first. I mean, it's cool to have creative ideas, but sometimes you just want to like slow down and enjoy the moment and to just, we need to just see how the reactions are because there's been so much time in between, you know? So, um, yeah, we're really curious to see how people will like this new record, the record with original songs, and we'll see what the future holds. Run away from dust till dawn